Okay, where's a good spot for Gwen here? Sure. Sure. I guess with the range upgrade for the village, it's not gonna matter. Uh, do we rush a mid? Just so we get the fastest purple punk power that we get, and then just let her upgrade, like, naturally over time. Rush a mid by 25. Uh, we're, yeah, we're probably gonna leak it. That's fine, though. I just need the mid before 45, because that's the round where, uh, if I don't get it, then every single purple bloom will leak. And I don't want that to happen, obviously. Let's just get the Raider Scanner, just because. And let's try to save up 6k for it. It'll come at the cost of, uh, not being able to upgrade Gwendolyn, but it has to be done. Uh, the other great thing about getting this village is that Gwen can actually pop camo now, which is great. Because she really lacks that camo. Same with Striker and Obin. Also purples. Again, gonna have to let it leak until we can afford that mib. Obviously can't afford it by 25. Now we need for 32. Can we get this in 5 rounds or 6 rounds? I don't know. If we can't get it in 6 rounds, then... Again, just get it before 42 or 45. Yeah, we have to leak 32, sadly. Still 1k short off the mib, which kind of sucks, but what you gonna do? Like, thankfully we're still gonna be alive after this. How many lives are we gonna have, I don't remember, but not very much to deal with. Yeah, down to 28, and that's with mana shields. So if you want to attempt this challenge, you need mana shields, otherwise you're dead for 32. Now what we need is Moab Pop Power. So from now on, just straight up upgrade Gwen. This is the round where the Quincy died. The Quincy. Quincy, son of Quincy. And Gwen is going to take care of this round fairly easily, just watch. I trust in Gwen. I guess just for good measures, use the ability. This round is kind of scary after all. Don't know if it was needed, but hey. Again, better safe than sorry. And now that we have extra monkey knowledge, like, how far do you think we're going to get? The previous attempt was 45, but that was only because Gwen could not pop purples. I feel like this time around we can get to 50? Maybe even further? Even further. You think it can rival uh, Churchill? 54? I think so. Although, let's not hold out hope on it just yet. Could be wrong. Now, if 4 circles is any indication, we should be able to pop it, and we did. Now, only a measly four ceramics to deal with. Do we have to use the fire? Let's not take chances, sure. Alright, easy completes. On to the free play. She'll easily beat Churchill. You sure about that? I guess if we leave on strong. Also, do keep in mind, this ability, the second one, can damage uh, Moabs. It's not just for, like, ceramics, even though it's obviously be better versus balloons because of that, uh, the Vire, the DOT. I still think without it, uh, she'll be fine. Okay, Rico Rainbows. How are we gonna do against it? If it regoes to death, I'ma just Firestorm. I think that was necessary. Yeah. Absolutely necessary. Uh, strong. Gotta get Gwen in range or to pop these Moabs. Can we survive 50? Okay, we got the Srams under the fire. Uh, 18 lives. Now? Okay. That's one way to beat 50. Although I probably could have done it without lives lost. Whatever. My brain is fried right now. Still unstrong. We gotta get it popped, like, right now. Okay, back to first. Gonna leak... Two lives, okay. And we are alive. And we still have this for 53. Okay, this round's kinda tricky. Probably need the Firestorm. And this is the round that Churchill died on, so if we can beat this round with Gwen, we have a new king or queen. Let's use the Heated Up for like the Srams. That honestly might like help me one-shot it. Like, how much does the Cocktail do, or the... Oh wow, basically one-shots the Srams, I didn't know that. Well then, in that case, this should be very easy to do. Use fire now. Okay, 54 completes. Now this round. 
13. Greatly increased point power, yeah. Very, very descriptive. Thank you, Ninja Kiwi, for letting me know what it does. Man, this is so tough. I did not realize you have to do so much micromanagement for this round. Or at least just for Gwendolyn in general. Let's use it now. Don't know if that was a good idea. I'm that close to getting Cocktail Fire, though. Can we get it? Yes, we can. Do we still got this? Uh, yeah, we do. <laughs> Lost a couple lives, though. Like, this run's so easy. I can just do this. Hold on. This. And the round is dealt with. Now, that is one OP ability. Now for round 60. Wait, does a cocktail even do damage to this guy? I don't remember. I've not used Gwen very much. Just kidding. I use Gwen all the time. How about now? Sure. Because, again, this does damage to the, the Moab. So how about this? I pop all of them, and then I drop fire, like, right now. Hold on. Like, now. Yes, 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 yes. And that's how you beat 60, I think. Not, I think. No, that is indeed how you beat 60, although losing, like, 6 lives. Okay, uh, let's put this on strong. Just for the Moabs, or, yeah, the Moabs. You see how strong this fire is? It's insane. You legit don't need to do anything, and they get obliterated. And I get level 15 as well, Jesus Christ. Gwendolyn is blowing the competition out of the water. Would you say Churchill's the best standalone hero? No, I'd say Gwen is the best standalone hero, as you can see right now. And Gwen is also the best support hero, so she's both the best support hero and the best, uh, standalone hero. Gwen is the best at everything. There's no denying that. If you deny it, then... You must believe in a flat earth, too. Yeah, she's also cheap. You don't have to shout out a lot for Gwen's services. I think this will beat 62. And with that, uh, hold on, hold on. Oh, okay, there's like... One ceramic remain left. And we have like 41 lives, but nope, good enough, finally. Anyways, here's 63. We can beat this in one try, I guarantee it. Or your money back. Uh. Alright, money back. We will use the Firestorm for the first two waves. I think that's okay. It's just for wave 3 we have to do something different, because... Obviously, it's not going to work if we did the same thing as before. How about now? Oh, uh, a little bit high, but I think it still reaches this, this crossroad. I think this will work. Indeed, it'll work, right? Yep. And that's it. Let's keep going. Okay. Sell Mib, get the upgrade, and then get back a village. Maybe this extra Firestorm damage will help. This might be beatable, though. Set it to last for maximum uh, damage. Oh! Yeah, how did I not think of that? Because if we put on last, we actually get her to damage these balloons. And the increased Firestorm duration looks like it might help, too. At least I hope. Back to strong. Gotta affect these Serams, too, but it's not doing that. A little bit of micro don't hurt. Okay, so far, so good. Back to strong. First. Strong. First. Strong. First. Strong. First. A common mistake many people make is not making Gwendolyn affect uh, villages so they can pop leads. Anyways, this is the last one. And we got this with a whopping three lives lost. Nice. These BFBs are like slow as fuck, so... I think we can even get this back in time. Just watch. See, it's almost back. Almost back up. Now, unfortunately, level 17 does not help her at all. She only buffs towers. This is probably, like, the most broken upgrade for Gwen in, like, legit games, but... This game is not really gonna help us for that. Okay, we got how many mobs? Uh, should I use Firestorm now? Sure. Ballsy move, but I think it's gonna work. And this is how it's going to work. We use Firestorm now, or the little bomb. A little Molotov. Put on strong. Back to first. And now all she got to deal with are these. Just a couple 
of uh, whites and blacks. And 65, first try. She just keeps on extending that lead. You thought Farstorm suited more to balloons? Well, that's what I thought too, uh, last. But here's the thing about Firestorm, it actually just damage from mobs as well, so we kind of need that for this challenge. Like, in a normal situation, then yes, I would use it on Ceramics. But it's very valuable to have this affecting uh, Moabs as well, like this. Boy, that was close. Now question is, uh, are these mobs going to pop in time before this expires? Because so far, this is looking uh, really good. Don't expire, please. Good timing. Get ready to use this as soon as we can, like now. We're gonna lose like one life in the process. Okay. Use fire while there's still balloons in the bomb path. You see, I tried that before and it timed out. Maybe with luck, better luck this time it'll work. I don't know. I've already tried that though. And it didn't last long enough, but I guess I can try one more time. Uh, I'm telling you though, it just does not last long enough. But will it? Okay. Okay, that time it worked. Cool. Let's upgrade level 17. As if we need it. Firestorm can solo 76. Yeah, you tell me. I feel like any round with just balloons and no moabs are going to be easy as fuck. I'm just worried about, of course, BFPs, moabs. Round 69. And Gwen is sure down for this round. She won't have any issues with 69. Yeah, no issues with 69 at all. How does Gwen handle 69, you ask? Easily. FBI, open up! Uh, is this a round where we should use this? That's a lot of rainbows. Screw it, we'll use it. Why not? I actually should have used it a little later, but that's fine. Because I don't think these guys are affected by the firestorm. Not that it matters. She turns 18, right? Uh now and she's ready for even more action did you guys expect Gwendolyn to get this far after getting all MK I if you thought so you're probably lying unless of course you have more experience with Gwen than, than I do then I would see how that makes sense but we don't even have to use the abilities for this round not at all like Quincy who striker Jones who Owen who Churchill who don't know any of them. I only know Gwendolyn. You know, honestly, that's not a bad idea. Dropping an Alchemist when we see that she's going to die. Uh, we'll use the Firestorm just because. I don't like the look of this lag. Honestly, just for Gwendolyn, I might do it. Let's get level 20. And she is max. Now what? Like, when, she's gonna, when is she going to die? What do you think? 80s? I think she can last till the 80s, in my opinion. Like, I, I'm pretty sure the reason NK added Tricho is because, uh, they felt like we were lacking a... Lacking a hero that has a lot of popping power, but just look at this. All this time, the real, the real deal was here. 4,000 HPs UMG, although, uh, it's really no different than 4 to 5 BPs. It was honestly pretty sad that Churchill could only last to 54. Gwendolyn is outliving him by, like, 25 plus years. Or should I say rounds? Anyways, we'll use the fire now. And that should basically solo 80, yep. Keep on going, boys. Although it only gets harder from here because, again, Gwendolyn does not get any higher than this. Imagine if she gets around 100, but nah. We're a little bit reaching over there. That's a little bit reaching. Okay, we have fire too. Nice, 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 nice. I think this is it. 81 completes. Although we had to throw everything on that round. So we have no cooldowns. At least not yet. So now, like, while 81 I could deal with, I don't know about 82. This round's just as hard. Fire. Just try to use fire whenever possible and then save this for, like, the end of the round. Great, they're all popped to mobs now. At the same time, I love it. You love to see it. You, you really do. No, this is not looking great. This is this is really bad. Fortifieds, yikes. 
Yeah, if she dies here, then we'll just use an Alchemist and see exactly how far she can last for. Okay, this is a little bit better though, because you see how spaced apart they are? The more spaced apart, the better. Even then, how do you kill Fortified Rams? My question. You see? What is this? What even are these balloons? No, she's dead, she's dead. You just see how long they're getting taken to get killed? No. I'm done, guys. 82. 82 is the end of the road for Gwendy. Alchemist, sure. We'll try it. 402. Just so you guys can see how much of a difference this makes. Sure, jungle jumps too. Why not? Here's the difference one Alchemist makes, guys. Even on Gwendolyn. Just watch. By the way, no ability uses. Not a single one used. You know how much times I had to use this on 82 without it? Too many to count on one finger or one hand. But here's one Alchemist, boys. Just a measly, what, 5k? And here's the difference. Here are the fortified balloons. Look, my no hands. My hands are off. Off these abilities down here. Okay, to be real though, yes. We know Alchemist is a support tower. It is ass on its own, but... <laughs> really? This much of a difference? Yes, I know it's the same thing with Super Monkeys. Get called to arms. Sure, at this point. <laughs> Just get all the buffs that we can. So, called arms. Uh, what else? A true sun god? Nah. We'll stop here. Without using the second ability, so let's see DDTs. I'm not gonna use this until we. Until it looks like we need it. Let's see. Can Gwen kill these guys easily? It looks to be the case. So, one's down. Okay, she kinda struggles because they're so fast. So I think 93 is going to be tough, but it's why we have this. And to be honest, yeah, I'm not sure she can be 95 at this at this at this point. This round's kind of rough. Look at all these. Look at these. Look at these things. Okay, it's going to come back though, which is great, because we need it ASAP. Like when I say ASAP, I mean like legit now. Or we're going to die. You want to see how much difference it makes? Let me activate it. So, call to arms active. Let's go. Four to five mobs, no problem, man. Just drop a call to arms. Oh, wait. Just timed out at the worst time possible. And then we'll use number two once this is off. Yep, like now. Can she do this? Oh, wait, fuck. Uh. Okay, well, I pressed the exit button a little too late. <laughs> I guess that's the end then. Okay, she she could probably get longer than that if I tried even harder, but eh. You guys get the point.